Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Frank and Mary show. Um, who's Frank and Mary? Frank and Mary are a fictional couple who live here in uh, Northboro. And their goal in life is to live and die in Northboro. And you know what? They want to be buried in the backyard too. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm Liz Tridiak. I am the Northboro Senior Center Director. Usually I have Arthur Bergeron, who is our local elder law attorney here with us. Um, he's from Mirac O'Connell, but Arthur couldn't be with us today for the show. So instead of co-hosting, I am just hosting today. And I have Frank and Mary here with me. Of Allie Lane, who is our uh, recreation director here in Northboro. And I also have Mia McDonald, who is our conservation agent here in town. And we're here to talk about a grant that we're pursuing together. So the Senior Center, the Recreation Department, and um, the Conservation Commission. So this started in a little bit of a funny way. I saw a grant pop up on the Massachusetts Healthy Aging Collaborative email about um, shared winter streets and spaces. And I thought it might be um, interesting to pursue the idea of maybe putting like a, a sidewalk around the senior center building. So I sent an email off and lo and behold, this has been a project that's been in the works for much longer than um, my tenure here in Northboro. So I'm gonna actually hand it over to Allie who's been writing the grant. Allie, can you tell us a little bit about what we're doing here? Absolutely, thank you for having me on the show. This is my first time. Um, what we're looking to do is to apply for the MassDOT Shared Winter Streets and Spaces grant. And what that is, is it's going to pay for us to make an ADA, which is a um, accessible route around the senior center, um, the route right now we're, we're working on, but um, we're hoping to get a route that will go around in a circle through the woods and it will be completely accessible um, to all people, whether you're in a wheelchair, using a walker, um, and, and it's gonna be primarily very flat and it will be paved all the way around so that we can get seniors and anyone else in the community to come out and have a brand new awesome space to just kind of walk around and feel like you're in the woods, but it's accessible. That's, I love this idea. It's grander than what I had envisioned. And just to hear that it's been in the works and something that has been explored for a while is so, it, it was really exciting. And now I know Mia has some information about what it actually looks like back there in the route. I know you've you've kind of gone around the property and yourself and I think Forrest Lyford, who is on the trails committee, have mapped this out together. Can you tell us a little bit about what it looks like back there? Sure. So Forrest Lyford is a veteran member of our trails committee and he brought forward this idea to the trails committee um, two months ago and the trails committee asked him to move forward with, you know, plan and design. Just we were in the idea phase when uh, Scott Sharpentier, the DPW, director connected Liz and I. Oh, and thanks for having me today. This is also my first time. Nice to be here. Um, Happy to have you. Thank you. So it was, it was just so nice to be able to see these two ideas come together. And so Forrest had already flagged out with little pink, pink um, ribbon flags, a route around the senior center. He walked it. He's a retired geologist. Um, so he knows how to pay attention to the land and slopes. He did some research on ADA requirements for switchbacks, rest areas, width. And he really walked out a beautiful walking route that he thought uh, would would require very, very little to no alteration, uh, very little to no tree cutting um, to get a, a more at first the first initial plan was to get a more accessible route, something that was flatter and easier to get to with the long-term goal of making it ADA accessible for wheelchairs, walkers, and anyone else with ADA um, accommodations that were needed. The area back there is Edmonds Hill. It was granted in 1962 by Edwin Proctor to the town for the town's benefit for fresh air, open space, and access to nature. And there's a conservation restriction on that hill, the, up the trails up the hill, to maintain it in as pristine as state as possible. So there's these beautiful trail systems up there. We have a lot of different habitats out there. Uh, the trail is going to access this lovely pine grove that's part of the uh, Goldfinch Trail. If you've ever walked the Goldfinch Trail, you'll know the pine grove that starts out back there. 
in you also, if you're familiar with the history of the site, it used to be the old fishing game. And so as part of that project, when the senior center was put in, the lower part down by the senior center had to have some reclamation done. And because there was a lot of lead shot in the ground and other things that had <laughs> to be pulled out and it was right next to a resource area. So we had to rebuild. Um, and right now it's a red maple reclamation forest. And so you'll be walking in the forest and you'll come across this area where you find these red maples all exactly the same size in a grid pattern. And it, it kind of feels almost like an orchard. And you're like, why are these? So that's your reclamation forest. And so um, this trail will also connect the reclamation forest. There's a lovely stream back there as well that runs along the side in front of the property and also on the other side. And, you know, we've got disturbed forest, old forest, deciduous forest. There's a beautiful deciduous forest um, up the hill and behind the senior center, which is a mix of those huge white pines, the king's pines, those hundred foot tall pines they used to make masts out of. They were called the king's pines because the king owned them and he took them for mast making uh, for ships so you couldn't touch them. Um, so there's these beautiful examples of those pines as well as oaks and maple trees. Uh, there's also a lot of the, the whole hill is a glacial moraine, and so it's full of glacial erratics. And glacial erratics are things that literally were thrown with such force off the glacier as the glacier moved through Northborough so many, so many, so many years ago. I think millions of years ago. The forest is the expert on this. But you'll find these boulders that have just been flung with such force that they left grooves in the ground. The grooves are still there. You know, just so much later, and you could see them. And so at the same time, the Trails Committee is uh, working on updating their existing interpretive trail out there to make it more accessible um, and, and update the information. And we're going to try to highlight some of those glacial erratics and um, the otherwise known as sliding boulders. That's really cool. So <laughs> I know. I love how excited you you get when you're talking about this because it's a I, tool. Yeah, yeah. It's this is going to be an awesome project. Just think, like the senior center is the destination here, and you can park here in our parking lot, go up to the trailhead, and do an easy what is it about half mile loop or so, yeah. and you see all this beautiful um, scenery that you just mentioned. And it's accessible. I don't, I mean, it's just such a great project and it meets so many different goals that the town is working towards. I know our, our senior center strategic plan for the next five years, part of it is to make the senior center more of a destination and more of a community, um, uh, something to draw more community in. And I think this also meets some of um, Ali's commission's plans. Is that yep. open space or? Absolutely. I mean, as far as, as recreation, you know, we're not just here to recreate the kids. We're here to recreate everybody in town. So, um, you know, we a big part of recreating the seniors, I know, is pickleball in town, and we're working on that as well. But to be able to create an ADA accessible trail through the woods would just be a highlight for, for everybody. I mean, even if you are a grandparent or a parent who might have a disability, and you want to walk with your kids, this is going to be the perfect opportunity for them. And even if you don't have a disability, it's going to be a fantastic area to just go for a nice, easy walk through the woods and be mm -hmm. able to see everything that Mia had pointed out. And I also wanted to let all the viewers know that um, tomorrow, which is December 9th, depending on when this airs, at 1130, we're going to be meeting at the Senior Center, and we'd like to invite all of you to come down and hear more about the idea and see the space. Um, we're going to be down there at 1130 a.m. Uh, for about, I don't know, what is it, Liz, an, a half hour, an hour? We can be half hour up to an hour, depending on yeah. how many people want to come and talk to us about it. Absolutely. So we invite all of you to come down and hear some more about the plans, ask any questions that you might have. And if anybody has any questions but doesn't feel comfortable coming, feel free to reach out to any of us um, via email or phone calls. And we'd love to talk to you about the project. Allie, what's the best number to reach you? Um, my phone number at the office is 508-393-5034. And Mia, how about you? What's your best number? 508-393-5015 at the Planning and Engineering Office. And you can reach me here at the Senior Center at 508-393-5035.
and everyone is welcome to come tomorrow to learn more about our accessible woodland walking trail here at the Northborough Senior Center. So thank you both so much for joining me and um, we hope to see the community out and about here at the Senior Center soon. Yes, thanks for having us. Thank you.